Frogger kicked ass. So is it possible for another frog-themed Atari 2600 game to come out in the exact same year as Frogger and still be any good? Well, let's see what Frogs and Flies has to offer. While it's not off to a great start at first glance, the graphics are pretty blocky. It's basically a competition between two frogs who hop from lily pad to lily pad, and these are some huge-ass lily pads. You catch flickering blocks that are supposed to be flies, each being worth two points, and whoever has the most points at the end of the time limit wins. Well, that's about it. So is it really any fun just hopping back and forth across the screen eating flies for a few minutes? Fuck yeah it is! The game is basic as shit, and the graphics aren't even that great, but who cares? It's a great little competitive game. More fun with multiplayer, of course, but there's an option to play against the computer. There are two variations that each player can select respectively. The first one makes your jumps land in the same spot every time, so all you have to do is thrust the joystick in either direction and you land in the same spot every time. The second variation is a little more complex. You have to angle your jumps accordingly, or you might fall into the river, which will delay you for a short period of time before climbing back onto the lily pad. The fly's patterns are sporadic at times, you'd think that they were moths. But this avoids monotony, and adds the chance factor to the strategy. The background gets progressively darker, and the game will end a short time after nightfall, so you'll have a pretty good idea of when the time limit is reaching its end. When the game's over, the frogs hop off screen and a firefly drags a The End title across the screen and crickets are heard chirping in the background. Frogs and Flies is a perfect example of a game's simplicity being its charm. There really aren't any standout flaws. I did say that the graphics were blocky, but the frogs do look pretty good, the background is at least detailed, and the day-to-night transition is a nice touch. The game flew under the radar, but those who have played it will probably tell you that they enjoyed it. And if you haven't played it, play it.